Without a doubt, the most commonly asked question that I get from those that are new to wearing wigs is, Erin, can you help me find a low density style? Because everything I've tried so far just feels like too much hair. Today I've brought with me six different wigs in four different sort of style buckets in hopes to help you out and explain all of this and get you styles that feel most like you. Let's start with a few basics though. There's a few things that are gonna contribute to a style feeling and looking like a natural density. Number one is obviously, or probably obviously, the amount of hair that the manufacturer has put within the wig. And then number two is actually the cap construction. Unfortunately, when you're looking at synthetic wigs, it's very rare to find a manufacturer comment in the product description in regards to its density. Unlike on the human hair world, you often see density referred to as a percentage. For example, it's got 130% density, 150. And even what the heck does all of that mean? So descriptions of wigs will tell you the cap construction. So things that you're typically gonna wanna look for if you're looking for a low density piece is 100% hand tied monofilament top. That means that there is no permatees, which are those short, coarse hairs that are often placed into wigs, into the cap, to number one, hold the style, number two, to create volume, and number three, to disguise any wefting. But when you have a 100% hand tied top, you don't have any of that wefting and you typically don't have any of that permatees, which means that it feels very natural on the top of our heads. The other recommendation and frankly what I found to be tremendously helpful when I was first wearing wigs is diving into all of these wig reviews. Oftentimes, the reviewers will comment on the particular piece that they're reviewing, will comment on its density. That's another tool to help you decide whether this wig is one that would fit your needs. I have to say that I don't want to demonize permatees, okay? Used correctly, in the right amount, in the right places, Permatees can actually be really wonderful for holding the style and making that piece look incredible. All of the styles that I'm going to show you today are all available at wigsbypattiespearls.com. I have a discount code that you can use to save and it's Erin, E-R-Y-N-N, -N, 25 to save. Let's start with mid-length styles and I have this one on. This is Belle Tress's brand new Chloe, and it's part of their brand new Lux collection. And this piece is a pricier piece, as is others within their Lux collection. And it's really because of the bells and whistles that you're going to find on the cap construction of this particular piece. I picked this one to show you today because the density is very realistic, okay? It's got a full monofilament top, it's a lightweight wig, and the density, as I said, is really reasonable. One indication of the density is if you pull it back, as you can see, that is a reasonable size diameter of a ponytail versus some other styles that frankly, especially if you're new to wearing wigs, can just feel like a little bit too much. So the other thing that I love about low density pieces is can I tuck it? Because for many of us new to wearing wigs, you know, it's a bit of a comfort to be able to tuck your hair. And this style, you can absolutely do so. Another factor that is going to contribute to a low density piece is, as I mentioned, the cap. So I'll turn this inside out so that you can see that full monofilament top. And this piece is, is actually 100% hand tied. So if I get it up close to you, do you see that there's no wefting? Wefting are those strips of hairs that are put into a wig. This particular piece has no wefting and therefore has zero permatease. The benefit of a 100% hand tied cap is that A, they're typically lower density, B, the hair movement is typically extremely natural because each one of these fibers is sewn into this cap by hand. I think that if your budget allows, this is an incredible first wig or a wig for somebody that is looking for a very low density, very natural feeling, very comfortable, 
lightweight wig. And I actually have it, I'm not sure if you're aware, but Bell, in Bell Tress's brand new Lux collection, they've come out with 12 brand new colors. And this is one of them. And this is called Burnt Biscuit Blonde. It's a favorite of mine for sure absolutely can get longer styles in low density and here is a really great example this is ellen villa's music comfort and i have it in the color champagne rooted this style i recently went away and took it with me it was incredibly comfortable easy to wear lightweight i absolutely loved it so i really wanted to show it to you today again i've done a full review on this piece if you want to head over to my page check it out but I will show you the cap construction, but again, as you can see, the density on the ponytail, if you pull this back, is very realistic. Now, this piece has a left-handed monofilament part, but because of the construction on the top, you can really part this any way that you like. So let me show you the inside of this cap and what is really making it low density. Not only does it have a very realistic amount of hair in the cap, but the density is really being driven as well by this beautiful cap. So as you can see, you've got the left-handed monofilament part, but do you see this section here? Although it's not a monofilament part, you can absolutely part it within this space and get a really good illusion of scalp. And then you have the lace front that runs all the way into the ear tabs. Now, this piece does have wefting, okay? But it's closed wefting, meaning the wefts are covered by this material. If you can see that, I'll bring it up really close, okay? There is no permatease in this piece. That's why it's sitting very close to my head and feels very low density. So this one is absolutely one that I would check out if you're looking for a longer style that is still low density and lightweight. Okay, so let's talk about shorter bobs. It's a great length, it's a great style for so many of us. And one of the questions that I often get is, Erin, is there a particular brand that is known for being lighter density? And there is, I mean, for example, Beltress, Ellen Villa are typically known for having lower density pieces, whereas Raquel Welch isn't necessarily known for low density. They're known for beautiful cap construction, beautiful styles, um, incredible quality. You know, if you've watched me for a while, how much I love Raquel Welch wigs. With that said, although they're not necessarily known for ultra low density pieces, this is a Raquel Welch wig, and this is called Straight Up With A Twist. I have it in the color SS Wheat, and if you like this length, and this is something that you're looking for, I really want you to check out Straight Up With A Twist, because not only does it have an incredible lace front, and I miss that, Raquel Welch is absolutely known amongst the best in the market of having really incredible lace fronts, but that's not here why we are here talking today. So straight up with a twist is, is a shorter bob, it is low density, it has a full monofilament top, it is absolutely tuckable, okay? So I'll do a turn so that you guys can see the back. This is an incredibly wearable piece. So here's the inside of Straight Up With A Twist. You've got that full monofilament top. There's no permatease. There's very realistic amount of fibers sewn into this cap. You've got the beautiful lace front that runs all the way into the ear tabs. And this is what, if you're new to wearing wigs, this is what wefting looks like. So if you see each one of those lines, the hairs are sewn onto those wefting pieces and then the wefting is attached to the cap. There is a very small amount of permatease in this wefting. But if you recall earlier, I said I'm not demonizing permatease. I'm just saying that permatease being used in the right amount on the right styles in the right places on the styles is the key. And Raquel Welch has hit it out of the park with this piece because I think it is the perfect balance that is creating this really low weight, low density, really easy to wear piece. 
straight up with a twist. I'm in love with it. Here's the second one that I wanted to show you. And oftentimes you'll find that there's very similar styles between manufacturer to manufacturer. And this is called Tressalure. It's one of their brand new styles. It's called Smooth Cut Bob. I think there's really two differences between this Tressalure Smooth Cut Bob versus the one we just looked at, Raquel Welch is straight up with a twist. And that's number one, from, from my feeling, this one has a little bit more density than straight up with a twist. And number two, it has a little bit more of a stacked bob. So the nape is about a half an inch shorter on smooth cut bob. Sometimes between one manufacturer to the other, it really comes down to the color selection. If you are in love with the shades in Raquel Welch's lineup, that may be the reason why you gravitate towards Raquel Welch. Tressalure, in my opinion, is starting to come out with some beautiful shades. And this is one of them. This is 1426 R10. And I love this shade. It's quite similar, actually, to the SS Wheat that I just had on. So let's take a look at the cap construction on this piece, because again, we're seeing a trend. So as you can see, you've got the full monofilament top, the lace front runs all the way into the ear tabs, wefting again, just like we saw on straight up with a twist. And there is a small amount of permatease um, and it does not have an extended nape. But this is another great option, Tressalure's Smooth Cut Bob, if you're looking for a short bob with low density. Okay, let's talk about the segment that is probably my personal favorite, which is the lob or the long bob. And this is Henry Margu's Candace. It's not a new piece. In fact, it's one that I've had over and over again a number of times. And it's because I love this length. I love the density and it's very comfortable to wear. I would say of all of the styles that I'm showing you today, they're all synthetic. This is the only one that is straight synthetic. All of the others are heat defiant or heat friendly synthetic, meaning that the others, the heat friendly, you can apply heat. So you can add curl, you can straighten it, you can style it as you would your regular bio hair. Typically straight synthetic is a little bit more durable than heat friendly synthetic. So you may be asking, well, Erin, then why do you love heat defiant synthetic so much? And it's really easy for me. Number one, typically the fibers on a heat defiant synthetic piece are more fine in denier than what you find on a traditional synthetic piece. And number two, straight synthetic can come to us at times with a little bit of unnatural shine versus synthetic HD or heat defiant typically does not. So I digressed a little bit, but again, let's get back to Candace and why I like it. I think it is a wearable length. It's a reasonable density. I would actually say of the styles that we're looking at here, I would say that this particular piece has the most density. It does not have a lot. It just has more than what we're looking at here in some of these other styles. You will notice that this piece keeps flopping in my face. It's a little bit annoying and it's because it's been in its box for a period of time. You can use steam on straight synthetic. You could pin this back, use steam. You could use your clothing steamer as an example. Hit the steam to the base of these knots and allow it to cool and leave it. And that will help to redirect those knots to avoid it from flopping in your face. I think one thing that deters people from Henry Margu's Candace is it does have a center monofilament part. And I'll show that to you in a second. But as you can see, I have it parted over on my right hand side because the mouth of the opening of that part is actually quite wide. So you can part it slightly off center, either on the left side or on the right hand side. So here is that monofilament, center monofilament part. And you see the size of the mouth of that opening. That's what allows me to give that parting illusion of a side part when it's in fact a center monofilament part, okay? So this is the first piece that we're looking at that does not have that full monofilament top. And there is a bit of permatease in this closed wefted section, 
But again, it's done in such a way that it is not too much. So, and then you have wefted sides and back, and this is an extended nape. So this is a great option if you're looking for a lower density lob. Okay, so here is the second lower density lob that I wanted to show you. And this is called Tressilor's Undercut Bob, and I have it in 1426R10. I have it parted in the middle, but the difference between this one and Henry Margu's Candice is that the Tressilor Undercut Bob has a full monofilament top. So when I can, and the, I guess the other difference is this is made out of heat defiant synthetic fiber where Candace was straight synthetic. I prefer the feeling of these fibers than that of Henry Margu's Candace only because I do lean towards synthetic HD as my personal preference, but that's really up to you. The other thing that I notice is that the volume on the top of Tressilor's um, undercut bob here is feels like lower density than that of Henry Margu's Candace, and that's because of that full monofilament top. Okay, so I'll take undercut bob off so that you can see that full monofilament top, which I absolutely love. Okay, so there's your full monofilament top, beautiful lace front running into the ear tabs, and this also has. Um, wefted sides and back. Up to this point, we've looked at all straight styles. So the last segment that I wanted to look at was wavy styles because I find that those are more challenging to find a lower density piece than in the straight styles. So this is Ellen Villa's Delight Mono Part and I have it in the color Pearl Blonde Rooted. So this piece is, again, it's lightweight, it's very reasonable amount of hair and is very easy to wear. It does have a left-handed monofilament part. I will pop it off so that you can see that. Um, in, and then it does have wefting on the sides and on the back. So there is your left-handed monofilament part. It's got an extended lace into the ear tabs. There is wefted sides and back, as I mentioned. And I want to get up close so that you can see that if I'm hoping you guys can see this. Do you see the smallest amount of permatease at the base? Do you see that hair where it's a little bit coarse right here? Okay, that's permatease. And that is what is helping to hold this particular style because it has a very reasonable amount of fiber sewn into this cap. Permatease is needed on this piece to hold the style and to create a little bit of volume without having too much density. I would absolutely check out Ellen Villa's Delight Mono Part. This is for all of you that love wavy, beachy styles, but still want lower volume. And it's harder to find. So this is, as you can see, a longer lob with beautiful beach waves in it. This is actually Belle Tress's brand new Miu from that same Lux collection that the earlier Chloe that we look like, looked at is from. It's got all the bells and whistles. So again, just like Chloe, it is a higher price point. But let me tell you, I understand why. This style absolutely reminds me of Raquel Welch's Wavy Day, which you all know I am a huge fan of. But if you do find it to be too much hair, you want to check this one out, okay? So it is fully hand tied, okay? Just like Belle Tress's Chloe was. It's fully hand tied. It's got a full monofilament top. It's got a lace front that runs, that's a bit of my bio hair, a lace front that runs all the way into the ear tab. So you can wear this style away from your face and feel really comfortable and confident. And not only are you getting, you know, these beautiful waves, but it's at a very reasonable density for a style that has, you know, volume and wave and it, it just feels luxurious, but it feels really wearable at the same time. 
let me show you all those bells and whistles and you know what is driving the higher price point on this new Lux collection from Beltress. Here is that new cap uh, within their Lux collection, full monofilament top, lace front that not only is extended into the ear tabs, but it's going all the way around the ear tabs. And then that fully hand tied section. So I'll get up really close so that you can see it. There is a decent amount of stretch on these caps. I would say they're coated as average. I would say that they're average plus. Now I have a 22 inch circumference head. And as you can see, the ear to, or sorry, the extenders are almost all the way out. I could pull this in very easily. It's fitting me a touch big in, in those particular sections or settings, I should say. So I wanna to try to show you something and I'm not sure if it will come through on camera, but let's try. So do you see the light coming through the top of this cap right here? The density on this piece is very realistic. So when you take the density of the hair and the cap construction itself, that's really what is driving the low density on Beltress's Miu. Oftentimes, if we're somebody looking for a low density piece, we also don't want the wigs to be flopping in our face. This brings me to one of the other design features of Miu that I really, really love. Uh, get up close so you can see. Do you see how there is that lift here at the front? It's, it's not too much. And in fact, I did nothing to this. It has been designed to stay away from your face, which I think is a really great feature and benefit of this particular style. So this is a longer video than you normally see me put together. So if you're listening to me and you've made it all the way through to this point, I wanna thank you for joining me. And I hope, I really hope that this segment was helpful for those of you looking for low density, realistic pieces, let me know your thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Do you have a particular style that you love? And don't forget, all of these can be found at wigsbypattiespearls.com and be sure to use my discount code Erin, E-R-Y-N-N 25 to save. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.